Okay, how am I doing? This is like a little too close. Work with. Maybe if I do it like this. Go back up here. Do that there. This thing goes this way and put it here. Yeah, that works. So what I'm going to do is put this power pole like here. And do that. So I'm probably going to have to switch this back to MK3s. Yeah, it's going to have to be MK3s. But hopefully this will resolve our issue with the iron ore here. That will increase our production of the encased industrial beams. The merger like right over here. Now these are MK4s so... Do it like this. Maybe if I can upgrade like one of these lines. No, I can't. Well, at least they're overclocked. I'm thinking we're gonna need like more of this stuff. Oh no! Eight. I saw the six out of seven briefly. So we, yeah, we do need more steel pipes being produced. And I do want more of this stuff. Wait, can I like manually make this? We gotta check this out now. As in case industrial beams, like I'll just make a few. Make like 20 of them. Like if I can get one line as an MK4, that should be good enough. Yeah, so this is fully an MK4 line up here. And I could also... Let's also take off this power shard now. So you should be supplied with lots of iron ore at this point in time. Yeah, it's going a little bit faster. Like, should I even stick around to see 
like how much faster this gets because it looks like everything is getting enough. Yeah, like this stock of iron ingots is building up. So I think we're done for, he for the time being. So we just need to wait for that to build up. In the meantime, how about we do something about this area over here? Like we're not producing enough wires. And as a result, we're not producing enough staters. So let's get this done. Okay, we're still at 100%. Like all the iron ingots in this section over here, it's pretty much blocked off and it's going... It's just going to the copper sheets, which is like fully stocked at this point. What we need is more wire production. So I'm thinking, try to take advantage of this area here. Get some copper. Oh, right. Encased industrial beams. Ha ha. Ugh. In the meantime, probably should try to find something to do while we rebuild our stocks of encased industrial beams. Like something that doesn't require me building out more conveyor belts. Or at least a limited amount of it. Oh, I know. I was talking about, like, getting back these things. Yeah, we can take them back. And then, why don't we go over there? Or actually, that, that area is kind of messy. How about I take that limestone over there? We're gonna build out an MK3 line and bring it to the concrete production area over there. Like at this point, do we even need this? Oh, that's still an MK1. Right, let's get another mining thing. Actually, let's tear this down. And replace it with an MK2 and then bring the limestone to that line over there. Except we need to encase industrial beams. Oh my god. Really? Okay, we just need four more. This is why I need to increase this production. Anyway, minor MK2. We're just going to output it this way. Then we'll use the MK3 and bring it like over here somewhere. Bring it through this line here. And then this. Hmm. How, how do we connect it here? Should I just like put a merger like right there or something? Like, that is a normal node, that's impure, so it's probably uh, better to mix it here. What am I gonna.
Wait a minute. I'm ready to buy our storage. Why don't I just get in case industrial beams here? Like, even though it's only a little bit. Now, what I want to do... Put, like, a... No, not a splitter. A merger. Like, right here. this like right here connect this here There we go. So we got extra limestone coming in here and we got our power shards back. It all works out. So anyway. Okay, so we got more screws going in. Wait, that's a lot. Of, oh, never mind. That's not much. Concrete is pretty much blocked off. You know, maybe we'll... I just realized it might be worthwhile to... Get a little thing here. A little buffer. Because even though we have our own storage, like it's feeding into our storage for our own purposes. Like this will be the buffer for the heavy industrial frames. That if we need like an injection of extra concrete for whatever reason, uh, this will be doing that. Keep these things busy as well. Okay. I, again, I need to figure out what I should be doing. Like while I wait for this stuff to build up, I need to get rid of these ingots. Get rid of this stack, get rid of this stack. You know, fine, I'll get rid of the circuit board. Yeah, like I need to be doing something. Yeah, like let's try doing something productive while I'm waiting here. Or, you know what? I just realized. Like, I need the awesome shop back. Or the awesome sink. I need to put something in there. Like, what do we have plenty of at this point in time? How about reinforced iron plates? Like, we shouldn't need that much badly anymore. So I could probably put an awesome sink right there for it. Yeah, there's like nothing being produced. All right, let's put you to work. Okay, so splitter. Put an awesome sink here. That way we can continue getting those tickets. Probably shouldn't use the MK4 here. Better yet, why don't I use an MK2? Slowly feeds in here. Oh. Now on top of that, I can also use the tickets to buy resources, which in this case is in case industrial beams. Which means I can continue building what I want to build. I mean, I'd say that works out. I mean, is there anything else I should be buying here? Okay, I'll take that. 
clean pipe. Not really interested in the clean pipe. I got everything I need here. Gates? Don't really need that. Hmm. Alright. Let's get these as well. I don't need that. Don't need that. Fix it specials. Don't need any of this. Equipment. You know, gas filters. And parts. Yeah, where's there in case... Oh, it's three tickets? Wow. Okay. Uh... Now let's just buy all of this stuff. And then there's this area, which I'm not really using anymore. So I'm just going to store this stuff for the time being. I still have six tickets. And in case industrial beams are actually pretty expensive, so... Oh, one other thing. While I'm here, why don't I just put an awesome sink here? Gonna put a storage container here. Or, no. Wait, an, a constructor here. Because what I want to do is put all of my, uh, the stuff that I killed, I want to put it in here. Storage container. And this is on backwards, of course, I would do that. No, not smelter, constructor. We can do MK1s here. He will do that. And then this. Oh. Uh, DNA capsules. So let's get our alien protein that we stored up in here. Except it's not here. Augment. Actually, we still need to process all of this. And then while that's happening, why don't I just take a drink? Like, I just stored up all of these alien remains here and never really did anything with it. So, let's turn it into something useful. This thing as well. I think I also have something... Some of that stored somewhere else. I think it's like near the... Uh, what's it called? The consolidation area. So, I'll just deal with that if I can remember it. But for the time being, I do have these encased industrial beams... Well, a little bit. Still not enough, though. Like, I was thinking of just buying in case industrial beams, but I think it's better to just wait. Let's get something done first in the meantime. And then I just put it in here, and then it'll all get processed into this stuff. Also, I gotta remember, I used MK1s here, so it feeds slowly, but that's fine. So the bottleneck here is the screws, but again, that would need like extra room, extra conveyor belts. So we'll hold off on that. Like there's... Like something I should be doing. You know what? Let's go check out our silk uh, area. Like, how's that doing? So the circuit boards are pretty much all backed up. So that means everything is going into that storage over there. 
See, this is why I needed that buffer. Like, I wanted to continue producing these products because eventually I'm going to need more circuit boards in the future. So might as well just, like, make a bunch of it, like, now. And then if we're missing production, at the very least, we'll go through the buffer before we get starved of circuit boards. Oh, look at that. So yeah, th this, uh, this line is clear now, so everything is still being filled up. Let me just check this real quick first. It's like, I want to see what the bottleneck is. Looks like the bottleneck appears to be the copper sheets. Not getting enough copper ore. Yeah, definitely not getting enough copper ore. So this is why I built out so much of this. So in order to easily increase production of this, all I have to do is overclock these machines. And guess what? I got back my stuff. My power shards. So I just add two to each machine. Double the production. as easy as that and you know what I probably should like get more slugs since I'm already here before you check out the silica area like let's go ahead and go into the uranium cave like eventually I'm gonna be going in there for the uranium but at the same time I'm also wondering if I should even go nuclear power in this playthrough because I'm kind of thinking, like, maybe we should just mass coal power and just rely on just a little bit of fuel and just have mainly coal power. Because I already got, like, the Crater Lake coal. Oh, these guys spawned. I hear something moving around here, except I can't find you. Oh, you're inside the damn thing. All right, you're inside the terrain. I did it. Why can't I pick this up? There we go. Anyway, we need to get up here. I just want to peek in here because I know there's a purple slug in here by the uranium node. And the uranium node is right over there. Probably shouldn't get too close to it. And you guys just spawned, like, in the area I passed by. Or maybe you dropped from the ground or, or from the ceiling or something. Anyway, there's the purple slug I was talking about. You know what, maybe we should just clear this cave because uh, the other side of the, the other entrance actually leads to the silica area. So we can just go there instead. Again, still waiting for the encased industrial beams to build up. So might as well do something productive. And I forget if there's any slugs in here. You know, there probably is. Maybe like one more green slug or something. Or blue slug, I should say. In fact, there's a slug right there. 
Oh, it's a yellow slug. Okay. Stackable conveyor poles do. Oh, shit, 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 shit. Jeez, you caught me off guard. I'll just take you from range. Are you like. You're like dodging my explode. Oh, fuck. So. That spider does that. Holy fuck. Alright. Boom! Boom! And you be dead. Where's my nuts? That actually freaked me out. It, I was trying to buy, uh, build these poles and then it spawned like right there. Don't be doing that to me, game. This isn't a horror game. Oh. Right? Build it taller, I guess. Okay, yellow power slug. Got that. I'll just leave that there just so I know I got something there. If I absolutely need to remove it, I will. Anyway, there should be more spiders up ahead. And it's going uphill, so I can't do the crouch slide. Yeah, it just slows me down if I even try to do it. Yeah, you, you guys are, like, spawning. Like, that's so annoying. Oh, what the hell? You actually got a hit on me? Anyway. Blue power slug. So that should be it. My light was off this entire time. Nice. Yeah, that's it for this cave. So the only thing left in here is the uranium node. Oh. Get this. Anything gonna spawn? No? Okay. Oh, you want know mycelium? Get some mycelium while we're here. And then we're gonna turn that mycelium into fabric. 